today i i'll be talking to mr kapila jeevan a former gymnast and a, and the, now the present uh, secretary general of the gymnast association and uh, a man with gymnastics in his heart good good morning very good morning now kapila just can you tell me now you have been living this dream of gymnastics yes. and uh, could you tell me the present situation of the uh, sport at the moment uh, as a former national gymnast and uh, uh, presently secretary general of national gymnastic association of sri lanka the present situation in uh, sri lanka gymnastic is very good because we are getting a lot of support from noc as well as the ministry of sports uh, especially the honorable minister also supporting us this is the Uh, right time because uh, our one of our gymnast has qualified for youth olympic games just uh, after that now she is aiming for olympic games 2020 that is milka you are talking milka, about milka yeah milka gima mm. she is the one of the uh, best gymnast we have ever produced in sri lanka so now talking about it but but what is the current situation in the schools and uh, the if you have the 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 ground reality of uh, the sport uh, when we talk about the ground re, uh, reality in uh, this time because of the pandemic it is a very tough time for especially uh, majority of sri lankan gymnastic coaches are freelancers because majority of them are depend on the school and the very limited people are working for government and the school others are all freelance coaches for well, because of the pandemic effect they have hit badly but luckily we got the support from international gymnastic federation covid under the covid uh, scheme they we got a donation and funds to support our coaches during last four months we have support in the uh, part of the sports reality uh, now uh, in sri lanka we are aiming for youth games and asian games in 2022 but the major problem in sri lanka presently the gymnastics is a technical sport we are calling gymnastics the mother of all sports but true but in the when, uh, as a in gymnastic the all aspect not only gymnastic in other sports also they are requesting medals even the parents coach the country as a sports ministry and noc all are talking about the uh, medals but the ground reality we need more lot of infrastructure there are four major areas we need to look one is the training hours how many training hours per week then the number two nutrition then the infrastructure then the sports science because this gymnastics is a technical sport because of that there are major role in the science the sports science and the number of training hours as usual uh, present uh, situation in country not only gymnastic for other sports also effect with the new education system the children are go re- behind that rat race for the education race that after school they have a lot of tuition classes then they are minimizing their practicing hours that as a, we, if you are ready to produce the olympic player at least Six hours, minimum six hours into seven days or six days practice. Then we need to uh, think about our gymnast or sportsmen are getting the right practice hours because uh, we have achieved the youth Olympic games with prevailing condition. That means prevailing resources. Yeah. Now, once again, I'm asking you on that same question. Now, recently I talked into. your facility at uh, the sports ministry yes. i don't think it's a most ideal situation to or uh, to have uh, uh, to produce olympic uh, players exactly uh, so uh, how do you see it and what are the remedies uh, uh, measures that you are hoping to take yeah actually now uh, i think uh, we are we are getting a lot of support from the sports ministry Uh, you can see very uh, near future within 2 3 months uh, we are planning to uh, that the government is su- uh, support to uh, enhance the facility at uh, Torrington gymnasium 
that means uh, presently with the support of the club we have bring down some uh, not from the federation from the club there was a Kug Kug uh, Munihiro club Kugimiya Munihiro club they produce bring down some that, that's uh, from japan japan no no that is japanese coach we bring down sri lanka right. from that his name they have started the club mm -hmm. that club uh, they brought some uh, new equipment that the bouncing floor mm -hmm. that's belong to the club but uh, mm -hmm. the government is uh, ready to support and enhance the facility very soon i think now it is in progress then after that at least we have uh, some sort of uh, national uh, training center type thing but as a national gymnastic federation these days we are looking at the our own facility with the support of the ministry and the international federation we are discussing those things because we need uh, as a federation we need to association we need to have a national training center yeah. that is our uh, dream yeah but now at school level i know that there is a hell of a lot of children who are taking part in the sport but do they have the necessary equipment to uh, start with here yeah, now uh, in sri lanka we are practicing uh, in internationally recognized seven discipline eight discipline but in sri lanka we are practicing artistic men and women and aerobics gymnastic and gymnastic for all and rhythmic gymnastic also took part the asian games because mm. of uh, the the player who belongs to sri lanka yeah uh, other than that we have more major four uh, disciplines men's artistic women's artistic uh, and uh, uh, aerobics and gymnastic for all for example in school those days the artistic gymnastic is more popular now aerobic gymnastic is more popular because they need less infrastructure infrastructure facilities for example they need only the floor yeah but yeah. others yeah. we need uh, six operators yeah yeah and uh, for men six and women four operators so because of that uh, presently that uh, education ministry has provide some equipments the locally manufactured equipments and uh, we got some foreign donations to the education ministry but uh, there is a lot of uh, vacuum in uh, uh with related to the infrastructure they because this is a highly technical sport we need more support from the government and the international community to uh, upgrade the, because the gymnastic equipments are very expensive with compared to the other sports yeah but now once again i'm asking that question you uh, spoke something about coaches mm -hmm. but do you, the the coaching technical know how is it sufficient for you to take a player from this point to the other point yeah. uh, internationally for, yes now uh, we are luckily we have uh, about uh, in our uh, uh, international federation recognized uh, category 1 2 3 3 uh, fig level 1 level 2 level 3 then we have some uh, we have few coaches for level 3 for example we got support from japanese coach to enhance our uh, coaching facility uh, after that for example we compared the milk cup was produced by sri lankan coach yeah but she achieved the uh, olympic how the dedication hard work with the prevailing facilities so i am very confident with our coaches they have a talent and determination and courage but we need some uh, infrastructure presently i think for the Uh, uh achieve the international medal we have in house uh, good coaches we need some little bit of training and overseas training for these our national coaches yeah. to yeah. enhance their knowledge to uh, reach for the international level coach but present coach are very talented and very energetic because they all are national players for example mr ranjana tarang was a 6 6 7 years national champion he produced uh, milka with the support of the japanese coach and japanese uh, coach bring down the federation now the ranjana tarang uh, the udara liangwala uh, anthony dias aruna prasad there are many uh, charaka tushir we have very good uh, national level co uh, coaches they are very 
talented i think they can take their challenge they are ready to take challenge right then how many players do you have knocking on the door uh, internationally internationally uh, for example uh, in the women's artistic gymnastic milka is the number one for the time being but we have another three gymnasts training in uh, colombo and uh, that means uh, women artistic uh, uh, there are minimum uh, four gymnasts are ready to knock the international arena then uh, with reference to the artistic gymnastic also we have very good uh, team that uh, in a national pool there are uh, five girls and five boys are ready to go for the next level just after milka take the baton uh, uh, we are very confident as a national gymnastic federation if we get the correct uh, infrastructure support and uh, not only gymnastic in any other all sports if we have a correct program we can achieve the olympic level that means at least we can qualify within 4 uh, 4 to 8 years definitely we can qualify yeah. for olympics yeah on the same question finally i'm asking you what are your short term goals yeah. and your long term goals yeah short term somehow we need to produce gymnasts to achieve the south asia uh, and the asian level but in gymnastics the asian and uh, olympics are very similar but but achieving the short term goal is to achieve the commonwealth games get a medal from the commonwealth then the long term to qualify for olympics and the olympic medal it will take uh, about uh, 10 years 10 to 20, uh, 10 to 15 years to reach olympic medal to qualify in olympic medals we can uh, do it in a very short time are you are yeah. uh, confident of doing sir yeah qualifying the olympic standard yeah. is with a very short time uh, we can do in the long run we are aiming uh, because gymnastic there are 10 apparatus if you focus on one apparatus with the prevailing resources yeah we need to fight rather than we don't have that we don't have this but with the prevailing we need to show the colors now we have show the colors with the prevailing resources we achieve the youth olympics so if we have the more facilities we can achieve more yeah you sounded very very positive and very enthusiastic i hope you achieve, achieve your goals in a very very short time thank you mr jeevant yeah. for meeting us and having sharing all our thoughts yeah thank you very much for the national olympic committee and the team are always supporting sri lanka gymnastic so we will keep in touch with you all okay right thank okay, you okay thank you